In this short video, we're going to have a go at decoding some more of the Eclipse glyphs present on the Antikythera mechanism. And this video assumes that you've already watched the video titled Inscribing the Backplate Part 2 from the main build series. So if that's not the case, then be sure to check out that other video first. You'll find a link in the description. Now to keep things straightforward for the time being, we'll assume the Xelimos style is showing no adjustments required. So starting with a bit of revision of what was covered in the main channel video, let's go through the detail of the glyphs within this adjacent pair of cells. The cell on the left indicates a solar eclipse, with the presence of a Nikdos abbreviation indicating that it's during the night. It's predicted to occur at the 12th hour, and the index letter is a delta with a bar. The cell on the right indicates a lunar eclipse, with the presence of the Imeras abbreviation indicating that it's during the day. It's also predicted to occur at the 12th hour, and in this case the index letter is an epsilon with a bar. OK, let's go through another example, and again it's a pair of adjacent cells. The cell on the left indicates a solar eclipse. In this case, the Nictos abbreviation is absent, so it's predicted to occur during the day, at the first hour. The index letter in this case is the letter Tau. The cell on the right indicates a lunar eclipse, with the presence of the Imeras abbreviation indicating that it's during the day. It's predicted to occur at the 10th hour, and the index letter is Ypsilon. OK, now time to do a few on your own, and you'll find the answers in the description of this video. Now I do hope you've had some fun going through these extra examples. And again, if you've found your way into this video without seeing the main build series video first, then be sure to check that one out using the link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.